give you practical answers to your questions about how does this all work. So with that, it's very exciting to be a guest of Judge Hidalgo, of Commissioner Ellis, and of the governance that comes from our county commissioner's court reaching out to our community, pulling us together, giving us a nice breakfast, and putting us down to work. So with that, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to another elected official. It looks like the same elected official. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, D.A. Kim. I'll give our round of applause. Thank you very much for the work that you do. I, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize these community activists, media in the room, and we don't want to forget the work that you do. So all the community activists, just stand up. If you're active with your city club, just put your hand up, stand up. We want to thank you all for the work that you do. Because you hold our feet to the fire. And we appreciate it. Look, when I came up before, I almost forgot the most important thing. It's probably because you know it's springtime. Everything's blooming. Eyes are itching. Watering. Nose is running. And so sometimes when it's this bad, I take that Benadryl. The bad thing about that is I start talking to the ancestors. Now, if they start answering, you better wake the hell up. Because I don't want to join them that quick. But I am so proud that we elected, in my judgment, one of the most intelligent public officials that I've had the privilege of working with. I've worked with some smart people. Some of them not as smart as they think they are. But this one really is well-educated. Sometimes I've made a comment to her, not one, not two, but three Ivy League schools that she's been elected to. She understands the plight of working-class people because throughout her life, she's had to struggle to get to where she is. I'm very proud of the fact that in this diverse county, most diverse county in the country, most diverse city in the country, and we want to afford the most diverse states in the country. That we have someone that was born somewhere else, but got here as quick as she could. And she is what makes America great. So I'm just proud that the county judge, the face of Harris County, chose to have this conversation in Precinct 1. Would you please welcome the Honorable Lena Hidalgo, county judge. Commissioner and DA Ong, it's so great to see you all here. Thank you for taking time out of your Saturday to come and spend time with us. This is a bit of an experiment. So we decided during the transition that we couldn't possibly come up with all the best ideas. And we knew that we'd heard from our community, from our community leaders, from people who had lived the challenges in our county, that they had thoughts about how our county can improve. And we've got fantastic people at the county, elected officials, folks that have been there for a while, that work for the county, ready to make these positive changes happen. But we got to know what those are, what the needs are. So we thought, okay, not everybody can come to commissioner's courts on Tuesdays, but maybe if we go to them, maybe they'll come and share their thoughts. And so we've done, this is our sixth Civic Saturday. We did the first one in Pasadena on health and environment. We talked about resilience in Baytown, about transportation in Gulfton. We've talked about children and education. We've talked about all sorts of issues. And today we want to be here to talk about this issue that is so important to our community and that is so important to our nation. There is a perfect alignment right now on criminal justice and there's a will to make a difference, to improve things, to learn from past mistakes. There's a recognition that sometimes you've got to take a step back and take a look back to figure out what's broken. There's a recognition and an acceptance that the way criminal justice has been done in this country for too long is not quite working. And there's also a recognition that it's going to take all of us to fix it because it's not easy. It's not just one system. It's not just one lever you need to pull. So I'm very proud and happy to be able to be here with you, to be able to put this together with, uh, with my colleague, Commissioner Rodney Ellis, um, and his incredible staff to bring our community here. I'm going to keep this brief because this is supposed to be about listening to the community. So just know we're going to do different exercises today. We're going to have just a couple of brief um, context 
talks is supposed to be like, you know, five, ten minutes, and then we're going to get right to work in our tables, we're going to hear from you all, we're going to have a discussion about how we move this forward, and we've got a whole team of policy people and folks of the county listening, taking notes, learning. What you come up with here is going to inform the work we do. And I'm not going to tell you it's easy, we all know it's not, and it can't be done tomorrow, but we can start, and we need to stop thinking about it and start doing and and we we're on our way to do that um i'm so excited to learn from you i'm so grateful to you for showing that community engagement and public participation are a reality and that we can do better and we know what needs to happen thank you so much for joining us today